Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mitch from We in Tennessee. And today's video is being brought to you by Ashley. Ashley uh, messaged me here on YouTube and said, Hey Mitch, can you talk about homeschooling in Tennessee? And just all the ins and outs of what do you do and how is it different in California than in Tennessee? So today, thank you Ashley for that message because it's the whole topic about today. So before I get into homeschooling, I just want to give my wife props because she has homeschooled all three of our kids since they were school aged. And I have two of them in college right now. So that was a big deal to my wife because, you know, when she started, she's like, Ugh, can I really give them a quality education and to have two in college, one that's ready to graduate high school this year, phenomenal job props to my wife because she is amazing and was able to just handle all of that and the good Lord was so you know providing for our family that even though she was not working we were able to make ends meet and so God is good and homeschooling has been a wonderful experience for all of us but hey let's get into homeschooling in Tennessee so what I'm gonna do today is just give you the six things you just need to be aware about um, for homeschooling in Tennessee and I'm gonna try to lay them out as best I can some of them might have some gray areas depending on where you live and the county that you might have to answer to for homeschooling but most of it is pretty standard to the state so here we go number one in order to homeschool your kids you have to have a high school diploma or a GED so they just want to make sure, hey, this person is qualified to teach and they're gonna they're just gonna ask for your diploma or see your GED, whoever you have to go to. So we live in Maribel, so we had to go to the Blunt County um, Office of Education and just my wife had to present them with her, you know, diploma. So let's go to number two. Um, is immunization um, now this one's going to be kind of the gray area because you can ask for a religious exemption um, but my wife had to take my daughter's immunization card and be able to just prove that she had certain vaccinations uh, but again that one if you can claim a religious exemption you might be able to not have to prove that or show that okay um, the third thing is in California we had to take attendance but my wife never had to submit her attendance to anybody so when we went to the Blunt County of Office of, Office of Education they provided my wife an attendance sheet and so she just check marks the days that my daughter is doing school and the difference in Tennessee is you actually will have to submit that attendance sheet just so they can verify that the student was in school now you might be asking hey Mitch what constitutes my son or daughter being in school they have to be doing school for four days for a hundred eighty days of the school year and so um, you know that one's kind of weird as far as just knowing okay four hours for a hundred eighty days and so usually they'll map that out on the calendar or the sheet that they give you just to know, okay, that's 180 days. Um, the next thing is, is going to be standardized testing. And so standardized testing is going to be interesting in Tennessee because even though your son or daughter is going to be homeschooled, they need to be tested in the third, fifth, and seventh grade. Let me make sure I got that right. No, fifth, five, seven, and nine. Grades five, seven, and nine. And so, you know, I'm sure they're gonna make um, an, uh, an appointment. A person's gonna come and I think you have to actually go to the Office of Education and have them get tested. So it's grades five, seven, and nine. And we never had that in California. And so what they're basically gonna do is just make sure that your child is you know performing at grade level there are going to be some stipulations though that if they don't meet a certain percentile that could involve summer school but I'm not going to touch that because 
I've been hearing about that in third grade. If they don't meet a certain percentile, they're going to either have to do summer school or get retained. Um, but I'm not touching that one for now. Just homeschool. It's five, seven, and nine that they're going to have to take standardized tests. Uh, the next thing is going to be a letter of intent. And I was asking my wife, what is that? And she basically said, you just have to say, our intention is to homeschool. And I, I, I don't know if she was you know, supposed to say what she was going to teach, but just had a letter saying, we intend to homeschool. And I think that was it. She didn't you know, make it seem like that was a big deal. All right, let me make sure I got everything. Um, and that's pretty much it. So you just have to, so the only things that really make you know, a difference from California to Tennessee are the attendance records. We never had to submit them, but here we're gonna submit them, which is not a big deal. And then our, our kids never had to standardize tests in California at all. But in Cal um, Tennessee, it's gonna be five, seven, and nine. And that's pretty much it. So, you know, Ashley, your question, is it a lot different than California? Not to the point where, you know, we're gonna bug our eyes out and go, whoa, that's really different. I think Tennessee clamps down a little bit on the attendance and making sure that the kids are at grade level. But other than that, you know, everything seems to be okay. And my wife was like, eh, no big deal. So thank you again, Ashley, for your question. And I hope this was, you know, informative for anybody who's going to be moving to Tennessee and wants to homeschool. And so, um, you know, each county again might be different, but for the most part, that's the rule is in, you know, in Tennessee that you have to do those six things, okay? So if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Mitch. I'm trying to get home from work right now, enjoy the weekend. Um, but I just wanted to let you know that this channel is all about moving from California to Tennessee. And so if you have not subscribed, hit that like button and hit that bell. So every Wednesday and Saturday, you can be notified of videos. Okay guys. Have a great weekend. I will see you on my next video.